welcome to Learn PDR Online. In today's video, I'm going to give you three different examples of some hard hit damage where I've used a Kiko K bar to help me out. In each one of these examples, I'm going to be sitting up across the body line and then applying, pulling pressure to the body line itself while simultaneously tapping down the crown. This releases the tension from the crown itself, feeds the metal into the low and allows that metal to flow. So stay tuned. So first up, we're taking a look at this Mazda and it's the passenger side rear door that's been hit pretty hard along the lower body line. It's really pushed the body line in and pushed out a lot of metal causing a really harsh crown below the dent itself. There's so much tension you can see it's really distorted pretty much the entire door skin. So this repair took around five hours to do. So all I'm really gonna do on this video here on YouTube is give you a quick run through of how I've used that Kiko K bar to start getting some of this metal moving. The full repair tutorial for this door repair is available within the Learn PDR online training membership. So the K bar is designed to give a lot of pulling power and it's very adjustable. So right now I've got the rubber anchor point on the lower section of the sill. And that's a really strong part of the panel. I'm adjusting the main leverage point itself to make sure I've got a good angle to start pulling the damage. Now remember, I'm not trying to fully pull out the dent at this stage. All I want to do is apply some pulling pressure to the body line itself, gently start to pull that out, really so that I can start to tap down the crown. By tapping down the tension in the crown, I'm releasing some of that tension and feeding some of the metal into the low area across that body line. That allows the metal to flow, which is gonna make it much easier to start bringing that body line up. So by releasing a lot of that tension at the early stages, it's gonna make the rest of this repair much easier and really allow the metal to move, soften up so that I can start to work on the remainder of the dim. So now let's take a look at the next setup. In this next example, I'm working on the tailgate. And once again, it's been hit pretty hard. It's taken in the body line and really forced the metal up. So it's given me the primary crown just above my dent. Now I'm using a large square gangrene tab and that's really given me some good surface contact to allow good adhesion between the tab and the panel itself. Once again, I'm taking my time to set up the K bar. To get the best results, it's really about getting the right angle so that you're pulling the metal out in the right direction and allowing that metal to move. I've got my blending hammer with a rubber ball tip on and I'm just starting to soften up the crown. With my left hand on the handle of the K-bar, I'm gently pushing that out. So that has given me some pulling pressure on the body line itself. And then with my right hand, I'm tapping down the crown. Now that I've softened that crown, you can really start to see that metal move as I pull that body line out. So relatively quickly, I'm able to reduce the overall size, release some of that tension, which allows that metal to flow. And once again, it's gonna make that whole repair process so much easier for me to really make a nice job of this tailgate. So I continue working that crown, feeding the metal down towards the body line, really starting to allow that metal to flow. So once again, the full repair tutorial for this tailgate is available within the Learn PDR Online training membership. For more details, you can check that out at my website, learnpdronline.com. Now moving on to my last example, we're taking a look at the passenger side rear door on this Peugeot. As you can see, it's hit that body line really hard. This time around, I've got my K bar set up with a downward pulling motion. So I've got the rubber foot at the lower section of the door, my handle at the top, and I'm applying some pulling pressure to that body line. Now having it set up in this angle means I can start to not only pull that dent out, but start to pull it down. Now that is important in the terms of the direction the metal flow. So whilst pulling it out and down, I'm able to simultaneously tap the tension in that crown. Once again, feeding the tension points, that high spots in towards my low across the body line. And that really starts to help that metal begin to move. So I'll give it a few pulls to allow some of that tension to be released. And then this time I'm setting my K bar up in an upward pull in motion. So I've got the rubber foot across the door pillars. Once again, that's a strong section of the panel. My right hand on the handle, I'm able to start pulling the body line up. So from this angle, you can really see that metal flexing and the metal starting to move. This was a really hard complex repair. There was a lot of work involved in removing that primary crown and restoring that body line. 
So in summary, I've really been enjoying using that K-Bar. It's got a lot of pulling power, but also a lot of control. So I'm able to not only pull out that damage, but I'm able to control the direction that I'm pulling it in, which allows me to simultaneously tap down the tension, feed the metal into the low, which gives me a nice overall repair shape to start working the rest of my repair. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. As always, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you have. You can subscribe to the channel. And for any PDR training, check out learnpdronline.com. That's it for me for now. So I'll see you in the next one.